one. Make yourself comfortable. Take a deep breath in and out. In and out. See yourself sitting here, comfortable in whatever room it may be. What we're going to do is we're going to reach down, grow roots down through the floor, down through the basements, down deep through the building until we reach the soil. And feel our roots growing down through the soil around the rocks, the moist, dark soil beneath our buildings, the deeper down into the earth, down until you feel the bedrock, and crawl along the bedrock until you find a pool of water deep below you. The cool waters of chaos. And we're going to pull these waters up, up through our roots, up to our feet, to our legs. Pull the waters up to our bellies, pull them to our chest. Pull the waters up into our head and let it pour out through your head and through your hands back into the ground. Pulling the water up and letting it flow through you. Now reach up and go grow branches up, up through the roof, up high into the sky. And high directly above you, you will find the star. The star of order, the light of order. Reach up for the star, hold this light down, down into your branches, down into your hands, into your arms, and then down into your head, to your chest, and get down into your belly, to your legs down to your feet and mingle this this powers light above the waters below mingle them throughout your body feel the powers of order and chaos mixing within you take a moment take out of that what you need then send back to the ground and the excess water then back up to the sky, any excess light. But know that you can always reach them whenever you need to. But for now, take a deep breath in and out. Once more in and out. And join us once more. First, we honor the Earth Mother. Earth Mother, you who surround us and support us. You who are currently raining on me uh, outside this house here. You provide all this green, you provide all of our food. Without you, we would not be here. <laughs> uh, I just had a cat run away. Uh, without you, we would not be able to live, to sustain us and to support us. For all that you do for us, Earth Mother, accept our offerings. We are here to honor the gods and ask for their blessings. We are here to also pay respect to the moon. The moon is full sometime in the next 24 hours. But first, let's recreate the cosmos and hallow our hallows. Mighty well, waters connecting us deep to the ancestors. May these waters and waters in each of our homes connected to the underworlds. We say the sacred waters flow within us. It's 
sacred fire. You burn and transform, send all our offerings skyward into the heavens. Connect this fire with all of our fires. Ask sacred fire, burn within us. A mighty tree, roots go deep into the earth, branches go high into the sky. You connect all the worlds, the underworlds and the upper worlds. Be our path for our works today. A sacred tree, grow within us. And with these connected hallows in our various homes, by the light of the water, the light of the fire, this grove is made whole and holy. By the might of the water and the light of the fire, this grove is made whole and holy. By the might of the water and the light of the fire, this grove is made whole and holy. So be it. Gatekeepers all, come and join us. Aid us as you have so many times before. Take our words far and wide, bring back what we need to hear. Guard us and protect us as we walk your holy robes. In my house and all of our houses, gatekeepers, accept our offering. Now, gatekeepers all, join your magic with mine. Let the wells open as a gate to the underworld. Fire open as a gate to the upper worlds. Let the tree, the crossroads between all the worlds, open to our spirits and open to our voices. Let the gates be open here and in all our homes. And now we call to the shining ones. Shining ones, gods and goddesses of elder days, you who watch over each and every one of us, be you our patrons, our matrons, and whoever's causing my cats to chase each other, as for filming. <laughs> to all of you, we call to you and offer you welcome. To all of you that watch over each and every one of us, known or unknown, we offer you welcome. And to those that look over our land and where we live, we offer you welcome. Come, join us by our fires. Shining ones, accept their offerings. Land spirits, you have fur and feather, scale and skin, and I ask the fur ones in my home to please calm down. We offer you up. Leaf and stem, twig and branch, all the plant kin, we offer you welcome. In the seen and unseen, whites, the dwarfs, the elves, the fae, and any of the other unseen spirits within our worlds, we offer you welcome. Land spirits, come to our fire. Land spirits, accept our offer. And ancestors, you who've come before us, each and every one of our kin, our families that have walked before, we offer you welcome. Ancestors, 
those of our friends, those that we have known, those that we respect, all of you, we offer you welcome. And ancestors of this place, you known or unknown to each and one of every one of us, we offer you welcome. Come and join us by our fire. Ancestors, accept our offerings. At this point, if anyone has offerings they wish to make, you may do so. And you may do so verbally or you may uh, do so quietly in the background. It's up to you. I make offerings to Monty and the moon. And I ask that in this next quarter, watch over us be a guiding light as you lean. Are there any other offerings to be made? All right. Ancient mighty ones, given to you, we give to you once more. Hear our call tonight. Hear our prayers. Ancient and mighty ones, mighty kindred, accept our sacrifice. And mighty kindred, we have given to you and we ask for your blessings in return. Shining ones, what blessings do you give? Shining ones, give us Dagas. Day. Land spirits, what blessings do you give? Spirits give us Urus, the Aurochs, strength. Ancestors, what blessings do you give? They give us Lagus, waters, a motion. I read this as be strong. You're going to have to take things day by day, but don't be afraid of your emotions. Do we accept these omens? Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right then. Ancient and mighty ones, mighty kindred, gods, dead, and the, and the land spirits. Fill my waters, fill the waters for each and every one of us with the omens we have just heard. Fill them with dagas, fill them with gurus, fill them with lagus. May we have the strength to handle what is coming in the next week. Behold the waters of life. Now, let us thank all who have been involved. Ancestors, all of you that have come, all of you that are within each and every one of our lives, 
for all that you have done for us and for all that you do for us. Ancestors, we thank you. Land spirits, you that are seen and all around us, you that are in our homes, and you that are unseen. For what all of you do for us, and all that you have done for us in this right. Land spirits, we thank you. And to the shining ones, each and every one of you that looks over each and every one of us, for all that you do for us, and all that you have done for us in this right. Shining ones, we thank you. And once more, gatekeepers, we have opened the ways and sent our messages far and wide and brought back these omens. And we have done so safely for all that you have done for us, ancestors. We thank you. We ask that you now once more join your magic with mine, and not just in my home, but in all of our homes. May the wells become but water once more. The fires become but flame once more. Let the tree become but a tree once more. Let the gates be closed in all of our homes. And last but not least, we offer the Earth Mother first and we thank her last. Earth Mother, you surround us, you support us, you aid us, you guide us. Without you, we would not be here. For all that you do for us, Earth Mother, we thank you. Earth Mother, we thank you. And now, Go now, children of the earth, in wisdom and peace, for the right has ended.